My outlook on 2021 is, first of all, obviously to get back and uh, get in the flow of things again after the crash at the end of the year. Um, take the first rounds to see where I'm at um, and then slowly build back into it and by the end want to be sort of having race wins and podiums definitely are going to be on the cards because they were towards the end of 2020. So yeah, I think um, that's my goal and that's what I want to do and obviously I want to win the championship but just build back into it. So to improve on 2020 is, um, first of all, not crash and break my wrist. I think that is a, a big, big thing. <laughs> and I think to try to be more consistent from early on, um, that's the biggest factor for me. If I can hit my form early, um, will be automatically a lot better. So to be involved with Petronas uh, is great because obviously they have the Moto3 team, the Moto2 team and the MotoGP team and they're the only uh, they're the only team to have all three classes so to be involved with them is obviously means so much and Petronas is such a massive and worldwide awesome company. So going back to Valencia um, in FP2, it was a drying track and going into turn four, unfortunately uh, I lost the rear of the bike and when it came round it flung me over the top and I landed on my wrist which meant I dislocated it then did many, I think it was three breaks in different areas of my wrist and it was quite a complex um, break so the surgery was uh, long and intense but also so is the recovery so it's been a long long time now um, since the crash but it's only actually been five weeks since I've been able to move it properly um, it was uh, had wires in it for the first eight weeks uh, so I wasn't allowed to, to move it at all and then obviously once they came out two weeks of not moving it still and then from five weeks from now or from then sorry uh, I was able to, to start to move it again. So obviously long wasn't ideal that I did break it in the first place, but um, yeah, I'm on the road to recovery and it's only gonna make me better in the long run. My preparations for the 2021 season in training obviously has looked a little bit different um, because at the start I couldn't do all the things that I wanted to do for training. Um, I had to focus more on my lower half with my legs um, so and my core and that was the main area that I was focusing on and obviously then introducing back with my running and cycling when I was able to have the pins out so it's looked a lot different this year because this time usually I would be in Spain riding bikes but obviously with the pandemic obviously can't do that so it's been a lot different, but um, yeah, I think the way that I've adapted has been really, really good, and yeah, can't wait to get going. So for me, it's obviously great to have the continuity in my side, having all the same personnel, because I haven't had that for a couple of years now. Um, the last time I had that was 2017 to 2018 in BSB. Um, so yeah, it's super nice um, to have my bunch of guys around me and obviously to have uh, Chabby as a teammate is obviously good because I know the way that he works and he knows the way that I work. So yeah, really, really looking forward to it and like I say, can't wait to get going.